Welcome back to our ongoing series looking at the blindingly bright future of Intel and the new generation of CPU design that's debuting in Intel 12th Gen Core processors, codenamed Alder Lake. Today, we're looking at one of Alder Lake's most exciting innovations, the performance hybrid architecture. It's one of the biggest leaps in x86 history, and we're gonna unpack some of that here. Going multi-core with Intel Core 2 Duo was huge. And now the next jump is multiples of different cores. Alder Lake or 12th gen Intel Core will feature two different types of CPU cores, one for outright performance and another for efficiency. But that's not all. There's something called the Intel Thread Director that ensures that these two cores work together in concert automatically. There's a lot to dig into here. So let's take it a piece at a time. First up, performance cores, or P cores. As you might gather from the name, they're all about raw speed, meant for reducing latency and pushing the limits of single threaded performance. P cores microarchitecture, codenamed Golden Cove, is Intel's most powerful x86 design yet. Incredibly, Golden Cove improves upon performance over last generation's Cypress Cove. That's the microarchitecture in Rocket Lake by an average of 19% at the same frequency. So how did Intel engineers do it? They did it by making Golden Cove architectures wider, deeper, and smarter than previous generations. Wider because of more decoders and execution ports along with bigger buffers designed to crunch complex code, and deeper because of bigger buffer for reordering instructions and more physical registers and a larger scheduling window. All of this adds up to a CPU that can process more and faster, and to ensure that Golden Cove gets all the data it needs that's where Smarter comes in, with features that improve branch prediction, instruction supply, bringing data closer to where it's needed, when it's needed. For example, Golden Cove has smarter predictive and reactive features, including caches armed with all new prefetch engines that can observe program behavior and actually predict future memory access patterns, massively cutting down on latency. Oh, and those memory caches? Golden Cove has a larger L1 cache that's optimized to get the most out of the deeper execution engine. Consumer implementations of Alder Lake feature 1.25 megabytes of L2 cache per core, more than double what's available in the previous generation, just to keep the cores well-fed. All of that together means speed and lots of it. 12th gen would be impressive enough on the strength of this new P-Core architecture, but it also adds something extraordinary with efficient cores. E-Cores, codenamed Gracemont, give Alder Lake its flexibility. Essentially, they do the most they possibly can while taking up the least amount of power and space on the die. Four Alder Lake E-Cores occupy close to the same space as a single P-Core, giving Alder Lake a huge amount of scalability across all form factors. Where P-Cores are all about powering up performance, E-Cores are built for efficient multitasking. They do this with a deep front end, wide back end, and intelligent branch predictors that reduce latency, keeping unnecessary power use to a minimum. Clustered in groups of four, E-Cores share L2 caches of either two or four megabytes, depending on the configuration. Now, I wanna make this clear. These E-Cores pack a considerable punch. Compared against Skylake, the Alder Lake E-Core offers the same general purpose integer performance per clock at the fraction of the power. Now, for those not familiar, the Skylake microarchitecture powered Intel desktop CPUs up until 10th gen. Let's put some numbers behind this. An Alder Lake E-Core can deliver equivalent performance at 40% less power than Skylake. Or conversely, one E-Core delivers 40% more performance than Skylake at the same power. The Alder Lake E-Cores don't feature hyper-threading like the P-Cores do, but that doesn't hurt the equation. Four E-Cores running four threads provides 80% more performance than a Skylake setup with dual cores and four threads via hyperthreading. And if power efficiency is a priority, then E-Cores can also match Skylake's throughput while consuming 80% less power. Okay, with 12th gen processors having not just up to eight P-Cores and eight E-Cores with their own specialties, there is an additional intelligent design in making them work best together. And that's Intel Thread Director. This is a dynamic system that ensures that the right threads are assigned to the right cores at the right time. Conventional approaches rely on static rules that don't adapt to changing conditions, but Thread Director is a dynamic system that uses real-time feedback to help the OS scheduler make better decisions about how to allocate work. 
This approach works with existing applications, no code rewrites, and is seamless and automatic, no tweaking required. Schedulers typically work with limited information like whether an application is running in the foreground or background. But ThreadDirector can access much more from the hardware, including the instruction mix, what each core is doing, and other relevant telemetry. It even knows when the threads are actively doing real work, as opposed to spinning as they wait for the next task. The new Intel Thread Director uses this intelligence to guide the OS scheduler to make better decisions. When you launch a performance intensive application, like a game or video editing software, the associated threads immediately go to the P cores. As background tasks like email and cloud syncing begin, they're scheduled on the E cores to maintain maximum performance for your primary tasks. But what happens when something more important arises, like a thread that requires AI instructions? If all the P cores are occupied, Thread Director provides a hint to the OS that a higher priority thread is ready and suggests which thread moved to the E cores to make room. We can also make these transitions when a thread on the P cores goes into a spinning state. When that happens, Thread Director notifies the OS to shift the thread to the E cores, allowing a more performant one to take its place. Intel worked closely with Microsoft to optimize Thread Director for Windows 11, not just for thread scheduling, but for other smart features, such as helping the OS decide which cores to park and which to unpark for power savings, or ensuring that P cores are available for performance critical threads. This is a system that helps adapt to the actual way you use your computer, rather than a static set of inflexible instructions. This flexibility is what gives Alder Lake so much power while allowing for scalability. Intel has been working toward this for years, and I for one just can't wait to get my hands on it. If you have a question about what we covered in this video, please feel free to leave a comment or shoot us a message on Twitter at Intel Tech. As amazing as this performance hybrid architecture is, it's only one piece of what makes Alder Lake so incredible. We'll have more videos on that stuff coming soon, so stay on the lookout because the future is bright. Thanks for watching.